If you really want to cure Candida, the only way to do it is to get to the root cause of the problem, if you fail to do this then you are just relieving the symptoms temporarily, but they are likely to come back in the future. There is good news, there is a sure way to get rid of your yeast infection quickly, often within 12 hours, as well as dealing with the root cause of the problem, if you have been desperate to find a cure then this is something that you have to take a look at. I put the official website below in the video description, give it a shot and let me know how it goes. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Caused by an overgrowth of Candida albicans, a fungus, yeast infections are the most common of all vaginal infections, they are not sexually transmitted and are often caused by menopause, of all vaginal infections, yeast is one of the main symptoms of menopause, caused by the fluctuating hormones leading to bacteria in the vagina going out of control. Baths, excess moisture in the vagina, or damp or tight clothes may lead to an infection, the signs of yeast during menopause, as well as otherwise, are, inflammation, continued itching and irritation, pain during intercourse, frequent urination, and a thick, white discharge from your vagina. With the drop of estrogen levels during menopause, the walls of your vagina become thinner and weaker, during intercourse, the walls become irritated leaving tiny scars and scratches, enabling bacteria to thrive. Higher levels of estrogen, due to hormone replacement therapy, also increase the chance of an infection, damp and moist vagina, due to increased vaginal discharge caused by higher levels of estrogen, is a great breeding ground for yeast and bacteria. Menopause, yeast infections, and treatment, infections can be treated by over-the-counter medication in the form of creams and suppositories, before using these medications, it is always advisable to have a proper diagnosis, trichomoniasis, a sexually transmitted infection, and other types of vaginal infections have similar symptoms. This makes it imperative to confirm that you actually have yeast infection before starting medication, although creams and suppositories are sold as OTC medications, you will need prescription for oral medicines, before resorting to strong medications. You could try the following alternate treatments for yeast infections. Tea tree oil. Seek professional advice before trying this treatment. Tea tree oil suppositories kill yeast infections present in the vagina. Yogurt. Many women suffering from yeast infections apply unpasteurized yogurt which contains lactobacillus acidophilus or good bacteria, directly into the vagina, you could use a small spoon, a spatula, or an old vaginal cream applicator, to apply yogurt at night for 3 to 7 nights to restore the balance of bacteria in your vagina, you may need to put on a sanitary pad to avoid messiness. Unfortunately, this kind of infection tends to recur, to prevent recurrence, or to prevent having it in the first place, you could try the following. During shower, wash the vaginal area to keep it clean, and completely dry it before dressing. Cotton panties and pantyhose with a cotton crotch are preferable, do not share towels. Undergarments should be washed in hot water and avoid using softeners. After a swim or a workout, change your clothes immediately. Do not use scented sanitary pads or tampons, and frequently change them. Avoid douching, using heavily scented soaps perfumes and talcum powders. During sex, ensure your vagina is well lubricated, and use water-soluble lubricating gels. It is better to avoid sex, if it is painful. 